The Olympus E520 comes with a 10 megapixels live MOS sensor, in body image stabilization, dust reduction system, face detection technology, on screen AF live view on a 2.7 inch Hypercrystal 2 LCD, ISO sensitivity up to 1600, continuous burst mode of 3.5 frames per second up to 8 images in raw buffer. 32 shooting modes with 20 scene modes and a compact ergonomic design with a weight of 475 grams without battery or lens. With the E520 lens kit, we have the instruction manual, software CD, power cord, rechargeable battery, battery charger, eyepiece shutter, USB cable, video cable, shoulder strap, a 14 to 42 mm f 3.5 to 5.6 lens, and of course, the E520 body itself. The Olympus E520 is very similar to the Olympus E420. Slightly bigger in size, but has a very similar layout of buttons. With shutter button, exposure value button, mode dial, control dial, flash button, shutter modes, function button, AF target button, exposure lock, image stabilizer, live view button, arrow pad, play button, delete, manual info. Even though it's bigger than the A420, it's still a pretty small camera and very light in the hands. Coming with the same lens, the 14 to 42 mm f 3.5 5.6. This camera, it's great to start with on the wide end. You probably want to get an extra lens afterwards. So, powering on the camera, we have the info menu. You have an easy access of white balance, autofocus modes, metering modes. ISO settings or at a touch of a button. With the E520, we have the image stabilizing mode. By pressing the IS button, we actually see that we have three choices of image stabilizing. With mode 1, we have image stabilizer on. Mode 2, we have the horizontal image st stabilizer off with the vertical still on. And mode 3, with the horizontal on but the vertical off. Now, what does this mean is that when you're in mode 2, you can pan horizontally without the image stabilizer affecting your shot. And obviously with mode 3, when you're panning vertically. The menu of the E520 is also very easy to use, similar to the 420. In fact, it's identical. You have white balance, picture modes, ISO, noise reduction, noise filter, more camera setting, including metering, AF mode, anti-shock. This is for the mirror. And uh, AE bracketing, white balance bracketing, and so forth. In the play mode, we have edit, copy or reset, camera settings, and also clock setting. Selecting whether to use the CF card or the XD card. Even though you have both XD card and CF card slot, it will only store photos onto one of them at a time. Edit file name, video out pixel mapping The LCD of this camera is also very clear. When viewing a photo and using a control dial, we can zoom in up to 14 times to check those finer details. With the 520, we also have the live view function. By pressing the button, we'll switch from viewfinder to LCD. Zoom in, for example, to the logo. We see the same quick responsive autofocusing. One of the features worth talking about on the 520 is the function button and the AF target button. 
the function button is programmable to set different functions. For example, in aperture mode, by pressing the function button, you actually activate the face detection. Pressing it again, deactivates it. While the AF target button actually allows you to set the AF area using the control down. Obviously with all three lights on, then you have the whole area. Powering off the 520, we'll have the sensor cleaner kick in. While going through this video, you may be wondering what exactly is different between the 520 and the 420. Here's a chance to find out. First of all, the size. You can see that the 520 is definitely bigger than the 420 with a bigger grip for easier handling. While the 420 for its lightweight and compactability does not have such a big grip. So for those of you who feel that that extra grip is less of an issue but rather a bonus, then definitely the 520 is the way to go. Also of course, the most important different difference is the image stabilizer which is surprisingly missing in the 420 although given its size it's understandable the menu is also again very similar there is no function or AF target button on the back of the 420 also no image stabilizer button but all the other play menu buttons on the side and the arrow pad on the both are exactly the same on the top the exposure value button is placed to the side of shutter rather than behind it but this is a very minor change, the same with the power button. Both cameras have the same light MOS sensor at 10 megapixels. So on the one side you have a light and compact camera that's very easy to carry around with you. On the other hand, a slightly bigger model but with more features, most important the image stabilizer. Again, this cannot be stressed enough. And also bigger grip for those who feel that this may be a little bit too dainty for your hands. The Olympus E520, now available at the Giraffe.